Hi, this is a quick video about staying safe um, on the line of on-world dating, in the world of online dating. Um, basically, especially if you're on a free site, but regardless, even if you're on a paid site, um, these rules will be pretty much the same. Um, both these um, both these profiles that have contacted me, um, I would bet money that they are fake. And... Um, one of the red flags is um, that they've got this number in there, um, an underscore even more so, but these these long numbers means that they can't even come up with an original name, so they just put kiss me 7127 whatever. That's a red flag already. Um, another red flag is that they contacted me. Um, another red flag um, is that they're too good to be true. Um, another red flag is that they call them, this one calls herself a hopeless romantic. Um, and, um, yet, um, they, they want <laughs> hopeless romantic, but now all of a sudden has changed to, um, loking, not even, can't even spell correctly. Um, for friends with benefits with no string attach. Um, bad grammar, bad spelling. By the way, you look so great. No one's going to say that. Um, and then the kickoff, can we try the video call here? Um, two, we can talk better. So, okay, so this is just a screaming mess. It's all over the place. Look, if I wasn't suspicious already... I'm completely suspicious now uh, because it starts off with hello, how are you? And then nice to meet you. How long have you been here and what are you looking for? Let me just show you something else. So that was the message from Kiss Me Today. Um, how long you been here and what are you looking for? Hello, nice to meet you. How long have you been here and what are you looking for in POF site? So this is from a completely different person asking exactly the same questions. You've got to picture the scam um, headquarters, probably located somewhere overseas, probably in a third world country. Um, you've got to see, picture these poor people sitting in cubicles, all stacked up like sardines next to each other, um, and them having the whip cracked over them um, by their boss hog boss, um, that controls the low-paid scammers, and they're just reading from these scripts, and they're going through, and they're copying and pasting basically from a script into here to see if they can reel in some suckers. Okay? Um, now, I, was, uh, I like reporting these people to try and protect other people, and... Um, Often it's um, it's just a it's just a link to some webcam or something like this. They're trying on something different this time. Um, I wanted to weed them out a bit. Um, I finished off with "You sound great" for safety reason, and it's because she's used this bad grammar for my safety reason before we meet. So just let me know your email, and I will guide you to un blah blah blah. So yeah, great. You sound great, I say. For my safety reason, I need to ask you what was the big thing that happened in Australia on Saturday and who won. So for anyone actually living in Australia, uh, this was an easy question to ask because we had our federal election on Saturday. And um, it would be very easy for anyone living in Australia to know what that was and who won that election because it's been all over the news. But... Um, they know that I'm suspicious now, so this is probably where it will end. And plus, this would have stumped them anyway. Um, they do not know what the big thing that happened in Australia on Saturday was. And um, they'd probably be struggling to understand the news. Um, and, um, you know, it could have, they might think it's a footy match, who knows. But anyway, that's finished that one off. Anyway, I've already reported them. I've reported both of them. Um, look... <laughs> This is just a warning that, you know, they're upping their game on this. Um, this They probably stole these photos from some 
poor person and, um, you know, they're probably targeting um, people like me, like, well, I'm 51, um, I wouldn't be ideal. Ideal for them would be in their 60s or 70s, someone that's really old, um, not internet savvy. But look, don't, don't be arrogant. You know, anyone can get scammed, anyone. And it just takes um, just one... Um, just one false move and they, they could be scamming you all over the place. Um, some really intelligent people have been scammed. Do not blame victims for being scammed. Blame the people that run these scams. Um, always be suspicious. Um, always look out for the red flags. Um, I'm sorry to say in the, the world of online dating, um, if it looks too good to be true, then, then it really is. I mean, you know, uh, the, the, it, it's just not worth risking handing out your email or anything to scammers like this because you just don't know what's in their, their trick book that they're playing from and they're inventing new scams all the time. So, you know, please be suspicious. Um, you know, I've met some cool people on this website. I'm not, they're not all scammers. Um, I would say, to be quite honest, um, that about two thirds of the interactions that I have on this particular website are scammers. And I dare say that's the same for most dating websites. So look, just be on your guard and, um, you know, in, enjoy being single while you can.